Biblically Centered Kids. Hello! Today is a great day for Old Testament Tuesday. Today is September 24th, 2024, and we're so excited and glad that you're here listening to the Biblically Centered Kids podcast. This is Mr. Johnny. And Miss Danica. And this week we are on Virtue M, which says, We maintain peace, letting the Spirit lead our hearts and minds. Well, just like Mr. Johnny said, today is Old Old Testament Testament Tuesday. Tuesday. We will be reading a story from the Old Testament in the Bible that illustrates this week's biblical family virtue. We love reading from the Bible because it's the book God gave us that tells us all about him. When we read it, we can discover what he's done in the past and then learn what he has to say to us today. I can't wait to dive into God's word where we find absolute truth, godly wisdom, and the unchanging promises of our creator. A long time ago, the Israelites were in a tough spot. They were being bullied by a powerful group called the Midianites. The Midianites took their crops and animals, making life very hard for the Israelites. The Israelites were so scared and sad that they cried out to God for help. God heard their cries and sent an angel to a man named Gideon. Gideon was busy hiding wheat from the Midianites. The angel greeted him with, The Lord is with you, brave and mighty Gideon. Gideon was confused and wondered why all these bad things were happening if God was with them. The angel told Gideon that God wanted him to lead the Israelites and defeat the Midianites. Gideon felt afraid and thought he wasn't strong enough. But God assured him, I will be with you and you will defeat the Midianites as if they were just one man. Gideon asked for a sign to make sure it really was God speaking to him. He prepared some food and placed it on a rock. The angel touched the food with a stick and fire came out of the rock and burned it up. Gideon realized he had seen an angel of the Lord and was scared. But the angel said, peace be with you. Do not be afraid. You will not die. Gideon built an altar and named it, the Lord is peace, to remember how God had calmed his fears and promised to help him. God then told Gideon to gather an army to fight the Midianites. Gideon called 32,000 men to join him, but God said, The army is too large. I don't want the Israelites to think they won because they had so many soldiers. Let's make the army smaller. First, God told Gideon to let anyone who was afraid go home. So 22,000 men left and only 10,000 remained. Then God told Gideon, That's still too many. He instructed Gideon to take the remaining men to a river and watch how they drank water. Those who lapped water by putting their hands to their mouths were chosen, and those who knelt to drink were sent home. Only 300 men lifted the water up in their hands to their mouths, and God said, With these 300 men, I will save Israel. Gideon followed God's instructions and prepared for battle with his small group. Though it seemed impossible, Gideon trusted in God's plan. That night, God gave Gideon a final instruction. He told him to go to the Midianite camp and listen to what they were saying. Gideon and his servant went and overheard a Midianite soldier telling them a dream about a barley loaf flattening their camp. The other soldiers said this dream meant Gideon would defeat them. When Gideon heard this, he knew God was with him and would help him win. Gideon divided his 300 men into three groups. Each man had a trumpet and a jar with a torch inside. When Gideon blew his trumpet, all his men did the same. They smashed their jars, revealing the torches, and shouted, For the Lord and for Gideon! The Midianites were so scared and confused that they turned on each other and fled. Gideon and his men chased the Midianites, and the Israelites were saved. Gideon showed great trust in God, letting God lead him and bringing peace to the Israelites. Gideon's story teaches us about trusting God and finding peace in his plan. 
Even when things seem difficult or we feel unsure, we can trust that God knows what's best and will guide us. Just like Gideon, we can find peace by letting God lead us and following his instructions. Let's pray. God, we are thankful that you choose us to carry out your plan. Even when we feel weak or scared, you are always there to assure us of your power and your strength. Help us to receive your peace this week in whatever we are going through. Help us to listen to your Holy Spirit and to let him guide us. We don't want to do things in our own strength or for our own selfish reasons. We want our lives to always glorify you and further your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And remember, God is always with us, just like he was with Gideon. When we trust him and let him guide our steps, we can find peace and see his amazing plans unfold. And while you're at it, Don't forget to tell your mom or dad to visit biblicallycentered.com for some free downloads on biblically centered virtue. We are so glad that you joined us in the Old Testament today. Until next time. 